Hello learners, uh, welcome. In form four, lesson seven, we were dealing with solubility. We were in Romeo three, but today we are dealing with Romeo four, determining the mass of the solid. Remember, in Romeo three, we were dealing de determining the mass of the solvent. That was what we were dealing with. So, example one, we are told the solubility of iron two sulfate crystals at 22 degrees Celsius at 22 degrees Celsius is 15.65 gram by 100 gram of water. Remember we said uh, solubility is expressed in gram by 100 gram of solvent or water. That's what we have said. So I told calculate the mass of the iron 2 sulfate crystals in 45 gram of saturated solution at the same temperature. Okay, for us to do now the mass of uh, the iron 2 sulfate crystals in 45 gram of the saturated solution at the same temperature, that's 22 degrees Celsius, we are supposed to get, first of all, the mass of the solution. Okay, the mass of the solution or the mass of the saturated solution. One and the same. Mass of saturated solution. Saturated solution. We are going to get that. What have you said about a saturated solution or a solution? It is, we are adding the mass of the solute plus the mass of the solvent. In our case here, the mass of the solute is 15.65. Then we are going to add the mass of the solvent, which is 100 gram of water. Here, we are going to get 115.65 gram. Okay, let us see, let us see uh, what do we have here. We have 115 Point six five gram. It has been dissolved in what amount of solute? It has been dissolved in fifteen point six five gram of solute. Remember what we have here is a saturated solution. We are told uh, what mass of iron two sulfate crystals in forty five gram of saturated solution. We are going to put here now forty five gram of saturated solution. What mass of the solute? That is the iron 2 sulfate. Is it going to give us? So we cross multiply. We are going to cross multiply. There we are going to get 45 times 15.65 divided by 115.65. Here we are going to get 6.0895 gram. So this is the mass of uh, the iron 2 sulfate crystals in 45 gram of saturated solution at the same temperature that is the 22 degree Celsius. So we go to number two. Number two, we are having the solubility of potassium chloride is 60 gram by 100 gram of water at 70 degree Celsius. How much can dissolve in 80 gram of water? So the same, uh, this is solubility. We are having 60 gram of the solute. So what mass of solvent has it been dissolved? 100 gram of water. 100 gram of water. So, how much salt can dissolve in 80 gram of water? So, we are going to put there 80 gram of water. Then, we are going to cross multiply so that we get the mass of the solute. So, we cross multiply. Here, we are going to get 60 times 80 divided by 100. This will be 48 gram. So, that is the mass or how much of the salt can dissolve in 80 gram of uh, water at 70 degrees Celsius. Then number three, number three, we are told the solubility of barium nitrate at 80 degrees Celsius is 112 gram by 100 gram of water. And it is solubility at 30 degrees Celsius is 78 gram by 100 gram of water. Determine the mass of barium nitrate crystals formed. If saturated solution of barium nitrate is cooled from 80 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. We are told if saturated solution. So let's get first of all mass of saturated solution. Mass of saturated solution. Saturated solution at 80 degrees Celsius. So we said saturated solution is just a solution and for you to get a solution you have to take the mass of the solute and you, you add the mass of the solvent. So it will be 112 for the mass of the solute plus 100 for the mass of the water. So here we are going to get 212 gram. 212 gram. So let's go again see the mass of the saturated solution. Saturated solution 
at the other temperature, which is 30 degrees Celsius. It will be equal to that we are told 78 grams by 100 grams. So we are going to say 78 plus 100, that's 178 grams. So we want to get mass of the crystals that has been deposited when the barium nitrate is cooled from 8 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. So it will be 212 minus 178. So we are going to say mass, mass of crystals, crystals deposited deposited will be equal to from uh, the temperature of uh, 80 which was 212 minus that side of 30 which is 178 so here we are going to get 34 going to get 34 gram of uh, that uh, barium nitrate will be deposited then there we go to number four number four we are told the solubility of uh, <coughs> sodium nitrate at 70 degrees Celsius is 98 gram by 100 gram of water, and its solubility at 20 degrees Celsius is 60 gram by 100 gram of water. Determine the mass of sodium nitrate will crystallize out will crystallize out from 40 gram of 40 gram of saturated solution is cooled from 70 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. So here we are going to do the same. We are going to see mass of saturated solution at that 70 degrees Celsius. So we are going to have mass, mass of saturated solution, saturated solution at 70 degrees Celsius. So it will be the mass of the solute, which is 98, plus the mass of the solvent, which is 100. That's 198. So 198 gram. Next, we are going to see again mass of saturated solution mass of saturated solution at the other temperature 20 degrees Celsius where we are going to have 60 as the mass of the solute but as 100 to give you 160 gram which is the mass of the saturated solution at 20 degrees Celsius so let's get again the mass of the crystals deposited mass mass of the crystals being deposited being deposited or being formed deposited it will be equal to 198 minus 160 so here we are going to get 38 gram of uh, that salt has been deposited so that means check we are told determine the mass of sodium nitrate that will crystallize out from 45 gram of saturated solution we are going to say if this if 198 gram of the saturated solution 198 gram of saturated solution saturated solution crystallizes out at uh, uh, that eight grams of uh, solute what about 45 gram of saturated solution saturated solution what mass of the salt will crystallize out so we are going to say cross multiply we are having 45 times 38 divided by 198 so there we are going to get 8.636 gram that will be the mass uh, of the sodium chloride that will crystallize out from 45 gram of saturated solution which is cooled from 70 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. Then number five, we are told the mass of a solution of a salt of sodium chloride is 70 gram. This solution has 10 grams of sodium chloride dissolved in it. That's the mass of the solute. The solubility of the sodium chloride is 30 gram by 100 gram of water at 30 degrees Celsius. So we are told 65 gram of sodium chloride salt are added. So that's the mass of the sodium chloride that was being added to the solution at 30 degrees Celsius. So how much of the salt will remain undissolved? So here we are going to see again the mass of the solution. We have it, 70 gram. Then we have the mass of the solute. We have that on as 10. So we have to look for mass of the solvent or mass of the water. So mass of solvent. Mass of the solvent we are going to get as the mass of solution or saturated solution minus mass of solute mass of solute so here we are going to get 
mass of the solution or saturated solution which is 70 gram minus that of the solute which is 10 so we're having 60 gram of water or solvent that's the mass of the solvent okay if that's the mass of the solvent we are supposed to try to see how much of the salt is it going to be soluble in this 65 gram of water remember we are given solubility so we are going to see if 30 gram of this salt can dissolve in 100 gram of water what mass of salt are we going to form if we have 60 gram of water if we have 60 gram of water so we are going to cross multiply that means it will be 30 times 60 divided by 100. So this will be 18 gram of the salt. That means sodium chloride. Okay, remember we are told uh, the 65 gram of the sodium chloride salt are added to the solution at that degree Celsius. And we are having initially 10 gram of sodium chloride. So let us get now the total mass of the sodium chloride. So we're going to say total mass. Total mass of sodium chloride. When 65 gram of the solute was added. So that means we are going to have originally, which was 10 gram. We have seen that one, 10 gram of the sodium chloride there. Balas. The 65 that they have added, 65 gram of sodium chloride are added. So there we are going to get 75 gram. So if you check the, the water that it has dissolved, the water was only 60 gram. I mean 60 gram of water. And the mass it can dissolve is only 18 gram of the sodium chloride. So if we are having 75 gram of the sodium chloride as the total mass of the sodium chloride, and out of it, it is 18 gram, which will dissolve in the 60 gram of water. What mass will remain and dissolve? So we are going to say 75 gram minus 18 gram. So here we are going to get 57 gram of sodium chloride. 57 gram of sodium chloride. Chloride remains and dissolve. Remains and dissolved so that is the end for today lanas thank you